all the national human rights institution should be formed based on very various principles. This is important because, as you are aware, national national human rights institutions are not governmental and also not non-governmental. They should work independently and impartially. Independence is without doubt the single most important component of the Paris Principles. Uh, unless national human rights institutions are independent uh, in every possible way, they are no more than an arm of the government. The Paris Principles seek to build up the independence of national human rights institutions uh, in a number of different formal ways. Uh, one is to say that the commission or the institution uh, must have its independence guaranteed by establishment in the constitution or by law. Secondly, independence must be ensured by providing that the members themselves are as independent as possible. This means a proper selection process. We want to put on the record that much of the way in which the bill has been developed already reflects a human rights approach. The independence of members is also ensured by providing that they cannot be lightly dismissed. The most important attribute of independence, though, is not found in the Paris Principles, uh, and it can't be written. Uh, it's the attribute of independent thinking or independent mindset. I think here it all depends on who runs the show, whether you want to be independent or not. If you put shackles on your hands and feet, then nobody's going to make you independent, even if the legislation otherwise is very, very independent, you know? If every party is uh, criticizing the commission, this is the strength of the organization. ICHR, as a Palestinian national institution, is strong because it says its word no matter who is the perpetrator. And it stands behind it, it doesn't cover it up, it says it very courageously. And I think our insistence and persistence that this commission should remain independent from anybody else. You can have the best law in the world, but ultimately it depends on the integrity, courage, commitment and capacity of the commissioners and of course the ability of the staff who advise the commissioners.